Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Scott Soldiers. For this segment we're going to look at my selection of Royal Canadian Regiment. Like other Canadian regiments that you've seen on this channel, the RCR's history dates back to the mid-19th century and the transfer of the Defence of Canada from the British Army to the Canadian. My figures are again from several makers and over several decades. RCR figures are difficult to find and for now you either have to paint from castings of British figures or modify them to RCR. Uh, regardless, I hope you enjoy this short video of my Royal Canadian Regiment figures. As usual, I'll open up with what Britons produced at the outset. These figures are from set number 1632 and were produced from 1938 to 1941. You'll note how they are very similar to the Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry number 1633. However, the RCR has dark blue facings on its uniform and a red band around the Wolseley helmet. Note the bayonets, which are the pre-war needle versus the post-war spade. I know I've mentioned this before, but would it kill Britons to look at its molds from the past and see if it has regiments like the RCR kicking around? Maybe even do a survey to see if there is enough interest in doing castings or sets of its pre-war figures as a gesture to collectors. This next grouping are two Nostalgia figures, number 247, which I picked up from Andy Morant of London. I'd like to find more, but again, that is part of my journey. These figures are wearing a late 19th century slouch hat and gear, likely indicative of the regiment's service in 1898 during the Yukon Gold Rush to support the Northwest Mounted Police in enforcing law and order in the territory and on mining operations. These are two five-figure sets from Pride of the Nation, POTN-0036, Royal Canadian Regiment Pioneers, and POTN-0050, Royal Canadian Regiment Honour Guard 1930. You would have seen these earlier in episode 25 where I reviewed all of my Pride of the Nation sets. Both of these were purchased from Scott Dummett Presents and his website shows he still has a few Royal Canadian Regiment sets available. I'll leave a link in the description to his online store but I encourage you if you like what you see start ordering because you never know when they're going to be gone. Lastly, I have this eight-figure set by Soldier Soldiers, number 108. This set is a nice addition to my Royal Canadian Regiment collection and blends in with the Pride of the Nation figures. It's a more contemporary version of the Royal Canadian Regiment, I'd say post-World War I, and includes, amongst the rank and file, an officer, bugler, and an NCO. I've included these prints that were commissioned for the regiment's 100th anniversary. As you can see, the regiment's uniforms are very similar to those of its British Army counterparts in the late 1900s. And as I've said before, you could convert castings, such as the Royal Marines Light Infantry, for example, to add to your holdings. If you enjoyed the video, and if you have some extra time, Hit the like or subscribe buttons as this helps the channel grow and reach out to other viewers with similar interest in this hobby. Speaking of which, this week we crossed the 20,000 views and over 170 subscribers as tracked by YouTube. No, I don't get anything for this new plateau, but I did want to thank you the subscribers and viewers. It might not seem like a lot in comparison to other channels out there, but I'm grateful. You are from around the world, facing your own challenges, not the least among them are my narratives, and I am appreciative that you have taken the time to watch and support the channel. So, thank you, gracias, merci beaucoup, danke schön, and grazie.